It's a lovely home bargain haul. There was so much I wanted to buy. I won't lie, it was a struggle to walk past a lot of things. But um, I went in for some, you know, springy Easter bits, a couple of bits that I needed anyway. And yeah, just for general notes, really. So I will show you what I bought. I tried organising it into kind of piles. So if we start with the best bits, I'm going to I'm going to go straight in and we're going to start with the Easter bits. Because <laughs> I'm so excited now. OK. Um, let me just have a swig of tea. You know when it's too hot that you're so thirsty? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's get straight in. First of all, I've seen these on a lot of, because um, I follow home bargains on Instagram and on the Instagram stories, and I was like, I hope, hope, hope they have these when they go today. They did. Are you ready? <laughs> Wait, there's more, there's more. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, how bloody cute are they? Spring rabbit in a nice natural, like, wood effect. And they've got a nice natural bow as well. Oh, I got these on the side unit by the tally. They're just so cute and so bloody cheap. Hang on a sec now. Because you're not going to believe how cheap these were. £1.49 for gorgeous Easter home deco. I mean, come on, how cute is that? Well worth £1.49. And they can come again, you know, they can come down every year, you know. I'll be putting these away and they will be up the following Easter. So these are my first little buys and I just, I'm in love with them. So I bought them. Um, and I got to say, right, their Easter range was amazing. It was so good. Um <laughs> napkins how cute are they there's 20 napkins 69 pence i mean come on so i'm gonna have them for the table in the kitchen and um, then saw these cute little easter plates oh my god and they were 29p for 10 plates so far they will also be going on my table. Um, I then bought for the boys because I remember in school, do you remember when you used to have to do like make your own Easter barnet competitions? Like they don't do things like that anymore. And it's quite sad because I loved doing that with my mum and someone's gone to the loo and um, decorating my own Easter bonnet, you know, and um, I've never done one with the boys. Oh, sorry, I'm lying. I d I've done one with your one. I have done one for your one, but I've never done one for Shao. And, you know, your one's only done it once, so I just, I seen these and I thought I had to get it. I'm really scared one of the boys are going to walk in because I know one of them have gone to the toilet and I don't want them to walk in while I'm showing this. We'll um, go with it. So yeah, this little make your own Easter bonnet and the John Edge could have like ready there. Yeah, but yeah, make your own Easter bonnet set and it's got these cute little bunnies. Some there's a lot of stick on bits in the back as well it's not just the paper and the same with that then see they've got 
little balls. They've got all sorts in it. Oh, here we go. That would have been easier. So if you can see there, loads of bits and pieces here. There's bunnies, glue, pipe cleaners, tissue paper, pom-poms, feathers, googly eyes, felt ribbon. And yeah, and that was 3 99 I think. Yeah, 3 99 So I've got the boys, one of them each. I'll probably have to do clouds, but I'll thoroughly enjoy that. <laughs> um, and this is just my favourite bit. I wish I'd kind of got myself one. I can't wait to give these to the boys. So these are stretchy carrot. Now I'm not lying, it literally stretches like and I can't explain to you, right? Like it's this this mushy oh, it's the best thing ever. Like I actually I want one. <laughs> They're brilliant. Stretchy carrots, how much are these? 89p like i thought you know with a little with a easter and get me some eggs i thought this would be a great addition that that um easter bonnets i probably do an easter cake like last year but oh they are fab honestly i wish i had one i'm probably going to be sealing it off the boys it's so therapeutic <laughs> so yeah grabbed two of them one each for the boys so that's my little easter pile done now on to the cleaning me cleaning me pile okay so we have a lovely window squeegee bamboo with a bamboo handle in pink i've been wanting one of these for the longest time just because I see Mrs. Hinch like cleaning the rugs and carpet and the hair that comes off is crazy. So that's really what I bought it for, the rugs, not the windows. But I might use it for the windows as well because summer's coming and I don't know about you, but my windows look absolutely minkin in the summer unless I'm constantly cleaning them between the boys and the fingerprints the cat with her nose and she rubs it all over the window so got that and that was oh one pound 49 one pound 49 for that so got that and then this weather just makes me want to wash my car the, the weather's lovely it's sunny it's a tiny bit cold but it, it's warm considering you know the time of month it's um it's lovely so i'm gonna yesterday i like you know like the chairs um i done a little concoction of like fairy fairy fabric softener and i like went over the chairs just to make them fresh in the map you know and i went over the chairs in the car um, what else did I do? Oh, I polished and done the window. So I'm going to whack one of these in. These are like the dupes of the Yankee Candle ones. And they've got Cherry Blossom and Jasmine, Cotton Breeze and Pink Rhubarb and Pear. Like that one smells so nice. So yeah, I'm going to whack that in the car. And these were 99p for three. Bargain. So I picked them up. While I was there, I picked up, I ran out of deodorant, and this is my absolute fave, the Nivea Pearl and Beauty Quick Dry. I love the smell of this. It's just, it's just the freshest smell ever. I'll show you with them. Nivea, 159 So I grabbed one of them. I ran out of this, so I had to pick up my favourite fabric softener. Eleanor Gold Orchid Chic and that big bad boy was 2 99 Then I went a bit to the baby section um, and I picked up this to do the boys hair. It's just a rinse and jug, you know, it's nothing special. But I've been I always it was um like you know the plastic measuring jugs for the kitchen. I've always used that. Um, so I thought I'll buy one of these instead. And these are literally these. Rinse a jug. 199 
so to a power and it looks a bit better than the clear plastic measuring jug I've got in there right now. So I grabbed that. I seen this then I thought this was super cute. It's just a pepper pig trainer soft spout cup. And I'm always um need any bottles with cloud just for like water or juices or his milk and I don't know what tends to happen to him I go through them like nothing I've ever known in the house but I bought this one because oh, yeah it's got like the rubbery how on earth do you drink out of that oh that there is a hole there it's got like the rubbery nozzle and the beaker he uses at the moment for milk for bedtime and first thing in the morning is like the man a man little beaker and it's got like a rubbery blah, 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 a rubbery nozzle like this and i was a bit worried that like if he chewed it and wrecked the magpie oh, just flew across the window if he chewed it and made a hole up in it I'd be a bit knackered because he's like, he loves that little beaker, the man beaker. So I thought it's good to have a backup. And if not, I'll use it for water anyway. So we got that. And he was 1.99. So I got him. Now for the food bits, the best bit. Ah, uh, always the food bit. Am I right? Bit of a theme going on yeah i don't know what it is sunny weather right it just gives me life like sunny weather just makes me feel it puts me from here to here honest god i don't know what it is but it just brightens my day and i went past the alcohol aisle and i seen these which i used to drink in the garden it gives me beer garden vibes <laughs> Balmas. Yeah, just like, you know, flavoured cider, sunny garden, beer, beer garden. Do, do, do you get where I'm going? And these are a pound. Look at the size of them. So I'm going to whack them in the fridge. i got two of them. i got one for me and one for James. And I thought, I'm going to have that today just for the simple fact the sun is shining. So anyone else like that in the summer is it just me like turns into a bit of a an alcoholic you know <laughs> a drink drinker so anyway yeah got them and then i seen these and i thought oh, i've got to get them as well these are ice king high protein low sugar low calorie ice cream it's 70 calories per tub do you know like after dinner the sun's out and you're like oh i want something sweet i want pudding you know but you're on a diet and you're restricted to what you can have i thought these would be really nice or when you're watching netflix in the night you put the kids to bed and that's the kind of time you go dig out on the snacks and because no one's gonna try stealing them from you i thought these would be perfect i just i'm curious to see the side now there's four in here there's two caramel and two vanilla oh my god they're like the jaws the little ice cream pots how cute are they there's a decent amount in there and they're less than 70 calories <laughs> i'm gonna feel like i'm in the cinemas so yeah really excited for that and they were 1.99 for four so i will let you know on my instagram stories if they are good or not um, if you're not on my Instagram and you feel like adding me and becoming a my friend, it's Katrin Williams 90. I also have a homepage as well. If you want to check that out. So yeah. Um next up I bought these. Now these got thrown in the foodie part of my organization, but um the stainless stainless steel nozzle set now i've started enjoying a lot of bacon in lockdown and but i still <laughs> i'm a bit um basic when it comes to icing so um 
I've done like really nice like cupcakes with fresh strawberries and things like that. But do you know with just the um oh my god, I sound so thick now, the frosting bag majiggy i honestly thought it was just that i didn't know they had bloody these because i was i was seeing all these posh cups and thinking how do they get that really nice like rose and flowery pattern well i found these so i'm gonna be having some posh cupcakes soon on my insta stories let me tell you now these were 199 that's not bad because you get one, two, three, four. So I got them. Next up, we have <laughs> these Paw Patrol Cathedral Cities nibbles. And they're five mini bags. They're the cutest thing I've ever got to show you. Shell is like a little mouse in my house. He's obsessed with cheese. And your one loves his cheese as well. How cute are these for lunch boxes or you know, so I will just eat them, eat a pack of these, but I thought these are great. And they are 95p. 95p. But again. So I got them. I then bought this. Some Chinese curry cooking sauce. Um, it's mild. I've been wanting to try like a Chinese, like doing my own Chinese for a while. But I've ne I've never usually find like the jar Chinese curry sauces. So I've seen them today. I thought, right, I'm gonna give that a go one night, like doing my own Chinese chicken curry. So I bought that. I think it was sixty Golden Tiger. Sixty nine p. Yeah. So bought that. I love these salads. Does anyone else love? these salads they're the nicest salads ever it's chicken and bacon pasta salad mayonnaise um it's 98 calories 300 gram and it's so tasty it's got mayonnaise in there it's lush little bacon bits chicken oh it's so nice so yeah i got that for lunch i might even eat it today because it's sunny um Solid, solid, solid. £1.39. So, yeah, I used to work, when I was working, I used to take these to work, like when I was trying to eat really good. They're so nice. And they would fill me up as well. And then, I see. Now, does anyone else here absolutely love and miss the Dinky Donut stall in Swansea? You know, whenever I'd go to Swansea and that smell, that donut smell, oh my God. And then the teller and the oh, I had to have donuts, especially when I was pregnant on term. I'd go there for the donuts, you know. And I've seen these. <gasps> they have these there in bags like this. They're 29p each. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to stick these on a massive plate. I'm going to put a load of Nutella in one of my ceramic pots, warm it up, and we can all <sighs> naughty treat tonight, dip our donuts and have our own little dunky donuts tonight. They also had, um, what else did they have? They also had like a tray. I was tempted to buy them as well, but I thought, no, 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 no. You are on a diet. Like, don't forget, you are actually on a diet, Katrin. Hello? But they had a massive tray of donuts. They had pink ones and they had like the ringed ones. Um, and they had chocolate ones, iced donuts for two ninety nine. And there must have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's got nine there. Oh, twelve. Big tray like that for two ninety nine. But if you're not on a diet, go for it, you know? So, yeah, that is the end of my home bargains haul i hope you all enjoyed and yeah maybe you've seen something now and you need to rush down there and get it but um yeah um if you want to see what was on offer and what home bargains had 
then watch my Tem shop with me video. That should be on my YouTube channel. That would be on my YouTube channel as well. So if you want to take a look at that, so you can have a proper look yourself for what's there. Loads of stunning home I bet. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I could have spent a fortune. But there we go. So yeah. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world. And um, yeah, I'm always doing home bargain hauls, p and hauls, 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 hauls. So yeah, bit of a shopping problem. But... Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.